The bright and beautiful festival Holi is around. And that's my favorite festival. I just love the bright and vibrant colors that this festival brings in our lives. But there is a lot that we all should know about to play safe Holi. So here's a Holi special video for you from Sciency Soup. Historically, Holi was celebrated with flowers and natural colors. But with industrial revolution, many of these natural colors were replaced by synthetic colors which looked really good, bright and vibrant. But these vibrant colors which are available in the market today are made of toxic chemicals. For example, mercury, copper sulfate, chromium iodide and gentian violet are used in red, green, purple and blue holy colors. When we are exposed to mercury by inhalation, it can cause severe respiratory allergy and blood pressure disorders. It can even cause mental retardation in newborn babies if pregnant women are exposed to this chemical. Copper sulfate can cause itching, irritation, swelling or redness in eyes. In some extreme cases, it can even cause temporary or permanent blindness. Chromium iodide can cause severe respiratory allergy and can cause asthma. Gentian violet can cause skin irritation, skin allergy and skin discoloration. These are just a few toxic chemicals that are used to make holy colors. There is a long list of such chemicals which can cause illnesses ranging from minor allergies to even cancer. We have compiled a comprehensive list that you can download from the link given in the description of this video and it's free. Some of the dry colors contain silica powder, sand and asbestos. While silica and sand can cause severe skin rashes, asbestos which is banned in 70 countries across the world can cause severe lung damage with prolonged exposure. Even gulal which is considered to be a mild and harmless color often contains asbestos and glass particles to provide that extra shine in the color. At least once in your lifetime you all must have experienced severely dry skin, skin rashes and skin irritation. Some of you may have even noticed stuffy and runny nose after playing with colors. These could just be the initial symptoms of a serious disease caused by harmful chemicals present in holy colors. If symptoms like this persist, go see your doctor. Every year, from the day of holy until next few days, doctors see thousands of patients who get chemical injuries from holy colors. Needless to say, these chemicals are not good for our environment as well. These chemicals are not biodegradable and very difficult to remove from our water treatment systems. Eventually, they contaminate our natural water reservoirs and affect our aquatic ecosystems. So, as they say prevention is better than cure, here we present to you 10 ways to stay safe from harmful chemicals and yet celebrate a vibrant and colorful holy. Our top suggestion is that you make your own colors. It may sound difficult, but believe me, it's not. You just need a few ingredients and a couple of hours. That's it. Guess what? The colors that you are seeing on our faces are made by us using natural color and corn flour. You could use turmeric, beetroot, red cabbage, saffron, etc. to make all natural color at home. Or you could use food grade color instead. Although food grade colors are not ideal, but they are at least better than toxic colors. Mix all the ingredients together, dry it overnight, grind it in a mixer and voila. Your very own organic color is ready. Some recipes for making natural holy colors are given in the description. It is best to make your own colors, but in case you don't have time to make colors, buy only organic colors from the market. Make sure you check the ingredients of the colors on the packaging to be sure that all the ingredients are harmless. You may have to do some research for this. Okay, now you have made your own colors or you have bought natural or organic colors from a trusted seller. But what about others who you think are using toxic colors? Well, you can offer them your color to play with. We all know that few people will not listen and they'll put their colors on you either in a fit of excitement or simply because they just don't care. So we suggest that you wear a clothing that covers much of your body. First thing in the morning of Holi, you can apply a good amount of oil on your skin, hair and scalp. 
This will make a protective layer that will not allow much of the colors and their chemical ingredients to enter your skin pores. Protect your eyes by wearing goggles while playing holy. If you think you are exposed to bad colors, then wash the colors off with cold water as soon as possible. Keep your food and all those lovely holy snacks and savories away from colors so that you do not contaminate your food with harmful chemicals. I know it may be too tempting, but do not eat anything while playing holy and wash your hand before you eat anything. Instead of using harsh soaps and cleansers, you can use natural homemade cleanser made from yogurt and gram flour. This amazing homemade cleanser will not just clean away the colors but will also soothe your skin from mild irritation that you may have after playing colors. That's exactly how we are planning to celebrate our Holi. Let us know in the comments how you are planning to celebrate your Holi. If you want to know the primary sources of information that we have presented in this video, links are given in the description below. Go check them out. Do take care of yourself and your loved ones. And the beautiful and colorful world that we all live in. Okay, I'm going to have Gujia now. Wait, the camera is still rolling. Uh, guys, consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done it yet. Like this video and share it with your loved ones. Happy, Happy Holi! Holi.